Hey and welcome back to today's more report on Wednesday the 27th of May with me Rich Perry Market Analyst at Tantech Markets. Let me move on to uh, Euro Dollar now. And Euro Dollar, sharp correction in the last two weeks, uh, or week and a half certainly, continued um, from uh, Friday's data, the CPI better than expected and also Jeanette Yellen's comments. Um, big, uh, big fall yesterday. Uh, we're seeing a slight rebound today. Um, I don't see it as being any more than counter trend really. I think this is now a, a move that's going to continue. Um, certainly at least for the near term anyway. And breaking down below 10.65 I think is a big, big breakdown on the euro dollar. So I see that uh, this being probably a, giving you a little chance to sell actually. Um, and uh, this is the hourly chart. Let's zoom out here. You see more of an idea of the levels that you've got. 1065 is a massive level. Uh, big, big neckline resistance actually, and uh, it, it, I think that this move is just playing counter trend to that. It's just unwinding a bit of the oversold momentum on the, all the momentum indicators. Um, I would expect to see the RSI probably falling over underneath um, 70 on the uh, on the hourly, and um, also the MACD line is just unwinding back to neutral. I would see that all these as a chance to sell uh, and what you'd be looking out for is your mem your overhead resistance levels now what you've got on this chart is sort of s resistance starting to come back in around 190.60 you've got this sort of trading band that we had in place from Monday 119.60 up towards 110 figure and uh, 110 figure being that reaction load that we saw on Friday before acting as the sort of the ceiling on Monday so uh, sort of 40 pips worth of resistance, 190, sorry, 109.60 up towards 110 figure. Um, obviously that 110.65 uh, is the key resistance now in place. So um, theoretically, I suppose you'd say you've got about 100 pips worth of resistance coming in there. But I would say that between 109.60 and 110 figure is where you'd be. I'd be looking out for the next sell signal. That would give these momentum indicators enough time to unwind if they got it and uh, fall further um, downside in due course. You've had a rally off that 108.62 level overnight um, and uh, you've sort of unwound, I suppose that is sort of 70 pips worth already. So, I mean, even then in the context of that move, that's quite, um, quite a sizable move. But I would say looking out for sell signals today. Um, any sort of rally towards that resistance band as I was speaking about I think is a chance for you to get short again because I see further weakness in this euro chart I think um, it's going to come under further downside pressure um, and uh, there is more to play in this move I think um, looking at the momentum indicators they're all pretty much negatively configured now um, MACD line still falling away stochastic still falling away and uh, negatively configured across the board really so I think there is further weakness and I think any rally is a chance to sell big resistance at 110.65 so I wish you good luck in your trading on euro and I'll speak to you later thank you